is under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusement Board. Pasok na tayo dito sa Land of Dawn for Game 2 of Aura PH versus Bren Esports kung saan lamang na ng isang laro ang Bren Esports. Yes, early game with the Jawhead. Siyempre naman, bakit ka hindi manggugulo kung meron kang ejector sa labanan. So Bren Esports, kuha pa rin nila yung well, purple buff. Oh, look at this. Greed. Medyo, <laughs> medyo sneaky dito din si JP. Good at Alam mo yung feeling ko, nag-long cut siya. Hindi siya short cut eh. Long, long cut, cut. Long oh, cut. Long Pumunta cut. siya doon. Nag-long cut siya. Manggugulo dito. Nanakot pa with the dash. Pero nalastan dito si Greed. Greed might be in trouble. Few. Spiral strangling might be a kill. Pero hindi pala aabot dito ang abilities ni Lusty. Kung medyo nakalapit si Lusty doon, feeling ko could have been a kill for Bren Esports. Pero hindi pa rin tapos. <laughs> JP, <laughs> gustong, pa tapos. gustong manggulo. And that's why you want a joyed in your team. That's right, the Jawhead, magandang early game reset. Pwede kang magulo. Pwede guluhin yung timing mo sa jungle. Kasi sa jungle, jungle di ba may timing yan? Oo, so Kung kailan nag spawn yung, yung mga jungle camps, gusto mong patayin para maalaman mo yung timer. Well, Dito wait na. Lord Hades, flap teasy though. Huh? A little bit too tanky bit. with that Esmeralda. Pero ako yung, ako yung kinakabahan para kay Flap eh. Oo. <laughs> Sa to lang, Granger is actually medyo mababa, actually walang win rate, di ba? Wala pang napapanalong uh, game si Granger. Uh, una siyang ginamit sa Season 7 with Carl TZ, and yun yung sa Game 3 nila, and hindi din nag-succeed. So, uh, sorry, Game 2, di ba? So, it was not a fun pick. Let's see if Aura can make it work. Kasi sa ibang region, ginagamit talaga ang Granger na. Di ba? May mga lineup na pwede ka mag-ranger. Ang tanong, isa kaya ito sa mga lineup na pwede mong gamitan nun? Yeah, and apart from the lineup, I feel like it's also based on the power spike ah, of the tama, said tama. lineup. Kung sabay-sabay bang lalabas ang power spike, kung kaya nyo bang patulan on certain occasions. And speaking of certain occasions, this just might be it. First turtle of the game, go contest dito. Both teams, Aura PH in a good position to take it down. But Kilowash here, hindi pa pasok ang Alice and Rebo is still fairly healthy. Pero babagsak na with a searing torrent. Beautiful play coming in from the Valir. At tuloy-tuloy lang dito, babagsak na ang Silvana after the Tamus getting in. At pero ang Esmeralda may resback pala. 4v1 dito and that's the Esmeralda going oh. down. Aura PH, beautiful play. The turtle plus three kills. Yep. Napal, may mini audition na naganap. And uh, I have to say na hindi maganda yung layering na ginawa ng pagpasok ng Brenny Sports doon sa laban na yun. And dahil doon, again, 3-1 agad. And nakakuha na agad ng advantage. Raptors na agad yung Granger. Yeah, so pero it, falling star moon dito from Flap TZ. Pero hindi naman pala masyado masasaktan dito si Lord Hades. Pero going back to your point, Rock. That was a little bit too aggressive coming in from Bren. Hindi, me, hindi nila na asikaso kung paano mga pasok nila. As you said, holy baptism to locked in. Si JP, walang takas-takas with Imperial Justice. And that's one kill going to Bren Esports. Here we go. Nabawi naman nila. And if you're Aura, huwag kang gagawa ng mga ganun pagkakamali. Kasi konting opening lang ibigay mo sa Bren Esports. Alam mong papasok at papasok yan. Yeah, so, gotta be careful. And speaking of being careful, Bren Esports, I feel like they're more careful now even if they won game one. And I gotta hand it to them, Aura PH, they seem not bothered at all from that loss in game one. Actually, mas mukha nga silang gigil ngayon, eh, di ba? Yung oh. Aura talagang umaapoy ngayon in this game. And they have the heroes. Meron silang lineup para gawin to. Again, Granger on with Rhapsody, masakit na marksman kahit na early game. Gamit na gamit in this matchup. Yeah, pero tignan natin dito. Feed a little bit slowed down coming in from Lusty. Pero saktong bato lang pala yun. JP with a good save. Pero na burn a Vengeance Flame. Few, hindi tatama ang Cometic Lance. That could have been a kill if tumama yung stun na yun. Again, also, you have to be aware. Yung timing ng Imperial Justice is it active right now. Check nila ngayon Turtle. It's gonna be a big one dito. Yeah, Turtle already have HP. Pero that's the ejector being burned already. Pero mas secure ng aura. Boom! Ang Turtle at may double kill pa para kay Granger. Nagkakaubusan na members ng Freddy Esports. Ito, Flap TZ, medyo makunat. Pero ha, patulan. Iba pa to pabalik. That's the tower time. Flap TZ, still alive. But that's the Turtle. Plus three kills. Once again, for Aura PH. Beautiful placement, no Rhapsody, at lang death sonata. Itong si Lord Hades. From downtown, nakatakas na eh. Nahabol pa ng bala. And again, that's why you pick the Granger. 
and nakuha niya yung early game time yung gusto niya. Mahirap ng pigilan to. Yeah, and for Aura PH, this is the game that they want out of this Granger. As you said, there's a 2v1 na medyo brief na dito. Grabe, dami sa kalay ito kay Nature. One shot na lang. Flap, DZ gone! Underneath the turret, you did not respect Aura PH and you paid the price for it. Again, Rhapsody lang. Sapat na. Ganong kasakit yung Granger na to. Lalo ngayon with the early Raptors machete. Kasi tagos-tagos yung physical damage penetration ngayon ng Granger na to. So, Aside from that, also maganda yung ginagawang pag-ikot nila Kiluash at the Green right on time. Hindi sila full commit. Saktong, saktong ano lang? Saktong dalaw lang. Saktong dalaw lang at kung anong kailangan, ayun lang ang ginagawa. Nakita natin doon, inuna nila yung Torre before they went down to burst the Esmeralda. Yeah. Gulat na gulat ang Papa mo Flap TZ doon. The damage was just too unreal. As you said, Rhapsody pa lang, sapat na. At mukhang magkakaroon ng labanan dito in the mid lane. Searing Torre, hindi dita tama. Pero may flicker in si JP dito, mama ang in-check. Sayang, pero mukhang wala munang kill na mapupunta. Pero hindi pala nag-aabang ang tapos. That's the mega kill for Lord Aedes and Aura PH dominating the early game. Surprise mula sa aking kambal. Shout out kay Kiluwa. Shaya. <laughs> Very beautifully done. You don't see, you don't see a thumbs do that. Hindi kina gawa ng thumbs. Assassin thumbs. Assassin thumbs. Men, kulang na lang lotar. Pero legit, iba iba talaga ang aura pH. So Brandy Sports right now will have to come back from this very hard. And speaking of coming back, Ribot tried to get that solo kill, pero medyo tinangkin niya yung order of brilliance dito. Oh. Galing sa Lunox. Hindi niya nirespeto yung damage. Bren Esports, I feel like it's already time to respect Aura PH. It is. Tama 21, na. 6, 16 na tol. Medyo kailangan na natin mag-scale up. You need to take note of this Granger dahil talagang napakasakit na ng damage nito At hindi lang yun. Halos lahat ng members ng Aura PH ngayon sabay-sabay nag-power spike. Oh, lumalaki na yung ano, lumalaki na yung lamang. Huwag natin paabutin sa A94 difference. Oo, sa A94 difference na yan. 13,999. Yan ang magic number natin. Yan ang magic number. Pag lumamang ka ng aura difference, A94 difference, alam na. Alam mo na. Alam mo na. Opo. It's the Oppo difference. Ibig sabihin lang nun eh, nadala ng Oppo ang laro. Pero mukhang babalik na nga tayo dito. Sa land of dawn kung saan 10 to 2 ang kill score natin dito. Hindi ako nabulol. 10 to 2 talaga. 10 to 2. 8 kills ang lamang ng Aura PH sa Bren Esports. 7 minutes. Mag-8 minutes inside this game. Gigil. Ito yung gigil na Aura. Pag, ano eh, pag binigyan mo siya yung lineup na kayang gumalaw sa early game, Gagalaw at gagalaw sila ng maganda and kita natin to right now. Oh, JP, Dusty. great ejector. Yeah, flicker. Searing torrent won't save it pero mapapatay dito si Rafaela. Carl TZ might be next. That's the Brody dealing so much damage pero kung damage lang ang usapan nandito ang ating mo Lord Aedes with a double kill. Tagtaga mo pa. Might be another kill. JP to low HP. Hindi papasok dito si Ribo pero pag papasok sa likod na Lunox going in with the Chaos Ultimate. Grabe ang damage dito tong Rebo. Kaya mo bang mang 4v1? Nakita natin to eh. Na-review. Napanood natin to eh. There you go with the dive in. Except this time around, wala palang backup. So, it was difficult for Rebo to stay alive. At ngayon, ito na. Yung scaling na sinabi ko for that Granger, halatang halata na ngayon. Oh. Ilang minutes yung Raptors machete niya? Mga 3 minutes? Four Masyadong minutes. maaga. Masyadong maaga talaga. <laughs> and, Yung penetration na galing sa item na yun, scales over to tower damage, masakit yung normal attacks mo. Skill damage, masakit yung mga Rhapsody and Death Sonata mo. And critical hits from the last, from the passive, masakit talaga. So, from here, may konting, may ano naman eh, may, may konting cap, kumbaga, may konting cap yung itemization ng Granger. Kailangan mahanap ng Bren Esports yung abilidad para mapigilan o mapabagal itong larong to kasi pag kagat sila ng kagat sa laban na gusto ng Aura dun sila malugi yeah and they are playing to the tempo of Aura PH right now and speaking of tempo dito natin may kitang sakit ng Rhapsody ng Granger natin we talked about the Granger danger and this mm. is it the damage is real coming in from the Granger and Lord Hades seems to be in a different form from diba? him from himself from game 1 medyo malayo ang laki ng gap and again, maybe it's because of the heroes talaga, no? Uh -huh. Yung ibibigay mo sa kanilang heroes is yung mag-utilize sa prowess talaga, sa skill cap na meron. 
itong si Lord Hades. Hindi natin nakita no game 1, pero right now on game 2, damang dama mo. And the rest of the team can actually keep up. JP, ang galing din talaga niyong mag-support at this point. Uh, unbelievable din yung control na pinapakita ni Greed. Uh -huh. So the rest of Aura is just holding, is just steady. Hindi sila masyado maasim. They're not overcommitting and they're choosing their fights carefully. Yun ang tama nilang gawin. Yeah, and I have to agree. Yung positioning din nila ay napakaganda. Let's look at the KDAs of Aura PH right now. 705 for Lord Hades. Wala ring deaths kay Benny Cutie. And for JP and the gang, tiging isang deaths lang. Ibig sabihin, well spread out din. Kumbaga, napipitas lang dahil sa trade kill, pero hindi na mamatay ng walang rason. Yes. This is very important to take note dahil kung mamamatay ka man din lang sa laro, make sure may pinaglaban ka. Yep. Make sure may rason. Actually, I think yung balance is nahuli din ni Kilua siya. I think Yung off-lane na ginawa ni Kiluwas, yung side things, napakahirap din tapatan, which is the reason why sobrang free roam siya. Kahit saan siya pupunta ngayon, wala siyang katapat. Halos, kung papansin mo si Kiluwas ngayon sa mapa. And the rest of the team push lang sa ikit-kabilang ng dulo. Yeah, and speaking of pushing though, three lanes are getting pushed by Aura PH here. Top lane is already getting pushed quite heavily. There are four people in the mid lane and the Lord. Saktong trabaho lang dito sa bottom lane natin. And that's already one third destroyed. Tuloy tuloy na to. This is the classic three lane push from Aura PH. Flap easy to dumudo go bigla. And forces out the Inspire to just run away back to the third. Yep, and again the Lord is going on the turret. Hindi na lang pipigilan. Turret will go down. Uh, Top lane, busy din si Kiluwash mag-isa. Almost takes down the inhibitor turret doon sa taas. Yeah, and this is a very busy map for Bren Esports. Kailangan nilang mag-calculate kung saan ba dapat mag-invest ng mga members. That's a mega kill for wow. the Lunox. Napakagandang eject na nanggaling dito kay JP. At mukhang Tori muna unahin nila dito. Another flicker in. The damage is just too real. Last is next. Order of Brilliance from Benny QT. He just goes insane and looks like the base is next. But Rebo wants to stop it. Rebo will not stop it. That's game two going to Aura PH. We have a game three, ladies.